if this was my last ever project, how could I make it the best project I could with the things around me? As somebody who loves going to museums, I would always look at paintings and listen to my own music and I, would, I was like, wow, it would be an amazing idea if I could execute something like this. I wanted to make sure that if you were to come here and experience it, it was not just a sonic experience, it wasn't the traditional rollout of, oh, I'm coming out with my first album. It's something that you could pair with the audio, which is the visuals. Seo is my, the release of my first album and what we did is we collaborated with 17 artists and we created paintings that were inspired from the lyrics of the album. When we sent the songs to the artists, we didn't know if there was a song that would actually resonate with them because we didn't even think they actually listened to rap or anything like that. So it was really just a shot in the dark as to whether or not we would be able to find a middle ground. The lyrics and the titles of the songs that Curtis Smith made are so important that when the viewers look around, you can already see the connection. We were following the music and uh, made it our influence in doing our artworks. In terms of creating the album, although it was difficult, it was one of the most enjoyable things. I had a day job. So this is my first time in five years where I wasn't a full creative. So whenever I would finish with work, I would go to King's house and we would just make music. Back again, finish another song. The sale is pretty much me and Mito just hashing out ideas. For and, me? Like trying to knock out songs. lucky enough to use that process and find the middle ground and actually create something that was cohesive with an idea that we're extremely proud of. As somebody who's trying to maintain a lifestyle through art and somebody trying to be an artist, where is the middle ground? So here I am trying my best to be as authentic of an artist as I can be.